Hello everyone. Welcome to day 14th of October Lead Code Challenge and today's question is perfect square. In this question, we are given an integer n. We need to return the least number of perfect square numbers that are need to be clubbed together so as to sum up to n. And let's take an example here. The value of n that is given to us is 12. Uh, if we add 4 three times, then it will result in 12 and the answer becomes 3 because we are using three perfect squares to combine them to form 12 let's take another example where n is given to us as 13 uh, then the two perfect squares that we are going to choose is 4 and 9 and uh, if we sum these up we'll get 13 the output becomes 2 without much ado let's try and look at the presentation that i have created for this and let's get started with the solution perfect squares lead code 294 it's a medium level question on lead code and i somewhat feel the same also i have observed that in the month of october we are getting slightly easier questions in comparison to the past months august july september june and it feels like they have reduced the level of complexity of these questions let's start the algorithm let's hypothetically assume that we are given the value of n as 13 uh so what we are going to do we'll go and create an array that will store the minimum count of perfect squares that are needed to generate each number in this input array 1 2 3 4 5 6 up till 13 and what we are going to do we'll try and build uh, the answer for each of these numbers starting from 1 so at 1 we are already aware that there is only one possible way so we'll go and write one here Let, let's move the pointer to the next iterator we have 2 now when i iterator is pointing to 2 we'll create another for loop starting from j equals to 1 till the time my j square is less than equal to i which i in this case is 2 i'll continue the operation so let's start the operation for the j iterator j points to 1 uh, 1 into 1 is less than equal to 2 that's correct so we'll continue the operation what we are going to do we'll calculate the dp of uh, dp of i minus j into j which is uh, dp of 2 minus 1 into 1 which is nothing but 1 so it turns out to be dp of 1 so the answer becomes dp of 1 plus 1 dp of 1 is 1 and we have 2 uh, there uh, the previous value that was stored at this particular index was infinity because we initially filled all the values with infinity sorry i missed uh, explaining this point and now we can see a better value which is 2 so we what we are going to do we'll replace infinity by 2 let's move the j iterator to the next pointer and here j becomes 2 uh j square which is 4 is not less than equal to 2 will abort the process let's move on for the next iteration which is 3 so i now points to 3 and let's start the iteration for all the possibilities of j starting from 1 so let me just change the color of pen and now j becomes 1 and the initial value that is stored here is infinity Uh, for j equals to one, one square is less than equal to three. That's correct. What we are going to do? We'll compute this value, which is nothing but dp of three minus one square, which is two plus one. So dp of two turns out to be equal to two, and two plus one is three. So we got a possible answer, which is three. so what we are going to do we'll replace it by 3 let's go for the other possibility we have uh, j equals to 2 j square is 4 4 is greater than 3 we need to abort the process let's continue this for the next possibility of i so since we aborted the process the i pointer increments to 4 let's continue the process and let's start the iteration 
the initial value that is stored here is infinity and uh, the initial value of j is 1 so what we are going to calculate we'll calculate this expression dp of 3 4 minus 1 is 3 so this turns out to be equal to dp of 3 plus 1 so we got one possible answer as 4 so 4 is better than infinity we'll replace it by 4 let's continue the process j now points to 2 j square is 4 4 is less than equal to 4 i am talking about this particular condition but it still holds true what we are going to do we'll calculate this expression for j equals to 2 that turns out to be equal to dp of 4 minus 2 square 2 square is 4 so dp of 0 dp of 0 is 0 we know this and we'll add 1 to it corresponding to this value and this turns out to be equal to 1 so 1 is greater than 1 is lower than 4 so we'll replace this by 1 so we have filled in 1 2 3 1 and filled in the first four values let's do it for few more and then you can complete the entire table by yourself let me just use another color pen now i points to 5 so what we are going to do we'll start the iteration and the initial value held is at 5 is infinity j points to 1 so it turns out to be equal to dp of 5 minus 1 square which is 4 plus 1 which is nothing but dp of 4 is 1 plus 1 is one, 2 so this gives me 2 so let me just replace infinity by 2 let's continue the process next i point j to 2 uh, what is the expression that i'll get dp of 5 minus 2 square which is 4 so i get dp of 1 dp of 1 plus 1 will give me the complete expression will be the complete expression dp of 1 turns out to be equal to 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so this again leads to 2 2 is equal to 2 i'll not do any replacement let's continue the process next i move the pointer of j to 3 uh, j square is 9 9 is greater than 5 we have to abort the process let's move on to the next iteration of i and here i turns out to be equal to 6 let's start the possibilities starting from j equals to 1 so let's start it here itself the expression will turn out to be equal to 6 minus 1 square which is 5 so dp of 5 plus 1 dp of 5 is 2 uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 so we have to replace infinity by 3 because 3 is lower let's continue the process next we have j as 2 2 square is less than uh, 6 uh, that means we have to evaluate the expression the expression would be equal to something like dp of 6 minus 4 plus 1 dp of 6 minus 4 which is dp of 2 dp of 2 is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 is equal to 3 we will not do anything uh, the answer stays as it is let's continue the process now j turns out to be equal to 3 3 square happens to be equal to 9 and 9 is greater than 6 uh, so we'll avoid the process and in this way you can continue it for the rest of the elements you can try this logic yourself and you will observe that at 12 uh, we will uh, get we will use a dp of 8 which will be equal to 2 and dp of 4 uh, which will be which will give us 1 so 2 plus 1 gives us 12 so these will be the two indexes that we are going to use uh, for evaluating a dp of 12 just remember this please go and try this up it will help you more clarity give you more clarity with respect to this dynamic now let's look at the coding section uh, the coding part is pretty simple and straightforward here i created a new dpra of size n plus one because i the in 
index r is the index in the array starts from 0 up till n and i initially filled in all the values with dp of uh, integer dot max value i explicitly initialized dp of 0 to 0 and let's start the iteration for i equals to 1 i is less than equal to n i plus plus iterating through all the possibilities of i and i signifies all numbers starting from 1 up till n i check uh, with the help of a loop for j equals to 1 j square is less than equal to y the main statement of the solution is this one where dp of i is equal to max dot min the minimum value out of the current value that is held at dp of i comma dp of i minus j square plus 1 you are subtracting and checking the value at i minus j square and since you are doing this you need to explicitly add 1 to the answer because j square is a perfect number in the end you simply return dp at n let's try this up accepted run time is 73 percent faster which is pretty f good this brings me to the end of today's session uh, i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye